if you're like me and you enjoy gear videos, I really enjoy looking at them. If I'm thinking about a new purchase like the Z7 II, I'll go and watch as much as I can and read as much as I can about them before making that decision of parting uh, with the hard earned cash. What this video is, is another filter video. And it's, it's one thing that as a landscape photographer, you're going to use a lot of filters. So deciding what ones are the best for you, this is where these kind of videos help, I think anyway. This week's video is about freewheel filters. Now the freewheel filters are a magnetic filter system. In this case, it's a versatile magnetic filter system. As you can see, it comes in this handy little pouch and it even comes with its own carabiner so that you can hang it from your camera bag or on the tripod whenever you're shooting so that everything's close by. So it's in this week in a full leather pouch. Inside it, as I said, it's a versatile variable neutral density filter system and as you can see it comes in the pouch as well and if you look in there you can actually put SD cards in there as well so that's handy itself and I'd just like to point out that Freewell don't know what I'm going to say about this system it was sent through I was asked to make a video on it I, and they don't know what I'm going to say so that's just to make that clear at the beginning so basically the pouch is quite handy from that point of view and if you need to get into anything you can reach them that way. What the pouch actually contains is a magnetic lens cap. It also comes with the base which I'll do this without getting my fingers on it so you can see the base there if I hold that up. The base that's on it just now is the variable neutral density base. And you can actually pop this out. This is the, why it's a versatile system or one of the reasons it's a versatile system. You can pop that out or try and do that to the camera and you can see the variable neutral density comes out of that. From here, what you can do is you can put in the mist base. And how this works, I haven't really had the opportunity to try this. I've only tried it a couple of times. The weather's been really, really grey, so I haven't really tried it. What you do is with the base, you match up that logo there to this logo here and that will drop in like that and you'll actually hear the click and from that you start adding everything else. So I'm going to drop the variable neutral density base in and that's it, it's in there. What else it comes with is a 2 to 5 stop and that again attaches on there and on this as well you can see it has the markings on it so that'll take it from two to five stops on the reverse of this that's why it's a versatile neutral density it has a CPL so you can actually use the CPL on here as well and you'll notice that when you turn that it doesn't lock what you have to do is you have to make sure that the corresponding two to five stops points out the way if you put it on and it does that and keeps rotating, you know it's the CPL out. Next one that comes with the kit is a 69 stop. And again, you don't even have to look and that will find its seat and click into place. On the reverse of that is an ND32 and a circular polarizer. And it's very strong magnets. The magnets are that strong in fact that if you put on your lens cap and try to take it back off, it takes off the filter with it. But that's fine because I would rather my lens and the filters were protected. So I don't mind that. It doesn't take two seconds to swap it over. That's what comes in the kit. Really, really good kit. And for the size of it as well, once it's on the lens, that's it. That's all that's on. As you know on the channel, I've covered quite a few filters. Uh, but for me, it's watching all these videos and watching everything about the filters and how a user actually uses them. I've been using these for around about a month and a half now and I've really, really enjoyed them. I didn't want to put up images that I had taken. I've put one at the beginning there uh, just to let you see how the filters actually worked with the system and me putting it on the system, how easy it is to use. 
very versatile as it is, uh, because you've got the CPL, you've got ND32 with a CPL, you've got 25 stop, you have the 69 stop, you've got a mist filter, which I'm dying to try, but I just haven't had the weather for it. I don't shoot a lot of uh, images with glow, but what the mist filter does, I'll put an image up just now, and that's the best I can show you for it. Uh, if you check out other videos on YouTube, you'll see even better results with it. I've been very fortunate and I've tr been able to test out lots of systems, and I thank all the companies that have asked me to do that, including Freewell. Uh, it's really, really fortunate because I know the price of all these. I'm aware of the price. I used a Lee system for years while I saved up for another system. So I do understand the price and the value in these. So I'm very, very appreciative of the companies that have sent these out. Uh, would I recommend it if it wasn't any good? No, I wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. I teach a lot of students and I've told them in my opinion, what ones to avoid, what ones that are very useful. These I spoke to them recently about as well, and I did recommend these. Look at the size of that. That's that. It doesn't take up any space in the camera bag, and even if I take the smaller bag, if it's a shorter hike, that's in the camera bag, along with whatever other system I have there, just depending on what I'm shooting and where I'm shooting. Definitely worth checking these out. That's it. That's what I can say about the system. I really enjoy using it. I find it really, really handy and very, very useful. And as I keep saying about the size of it, I find that absolutely brilliant. That is just a great size to carry around and it doesn't take up any more profile on your lens, uh, which is really, really useful as well, depending on the situations that you're shooting in. What I would do is I'd check them out for yourself, look at other reviews, uh, watch other videos as well and see what you think from there because it is there's so much of a choice and knowing what one to go for sometimes is the biggest decision you've got to work out how you enjoy shooting I really enjoy magnetic systems I've got to admit because of how handy they are and this one because it is so versatile so that's it check out the system check out the versatile variable neutral density system with the mist filter I'm really looking forward to trying out the mist filter further. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me talking about the filter system and I'll see you in the next video.